So today I'm going to show you how to use the XKit Chrome extension for Tumblr. So we're just going to jump into this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your Chrome. And then to download XKit extension, well really any extensions, you're going to need to be signed into your Chrome account. So just go to the Chrome Web Store. Click on it, and then when you get to the store, you're going to want to go to search the store right here, type in XKit, and it's the first one, and then if you click on it, it will give you like an overview of what you'll be downloading. So just get it free, checking, add. And then it will come up as a notification, XKit has been added to Chrome. So just go to your Tumblr dashboard. And then a notification will come up in a second right here that it's installing your XKit package. It doesn't take that long at all. And then it gives you two options to refresh page and start using XKit, or XKit keeps reinstalling itself. When I first got XKit, which was a, about a year ago, uh, for some reason it kept installing itself and I didn't know why, and it was because my computer was having poor network problems. So if it keeps reinstalling yourself that, itself, that's probably why. So just refresh page and start using XKit. And then it will come up right here on your Tumblr toolbar that XKit has installed. And then it will give you like a mini overview of um, some of the stuff that it has, like a tour. And then when you first download XKit to your left down, you will find a little unread messages thing. And it gives you a little sort of like message email thing on how to use it, but no one reads that. So, the one thing that people love about XKit is how easy it is to use to blog. For example, like, all you have to do is hover over, and it will come up this little box. And it's really easy to tag. Just separate the commas, for example, follow me. And then, it will come up your blog right here in Q and or blog. And then, um... If you have more than one blog, they will if you click on it, it will come up right here. You can click another blog, and if you click it, like it will come up right here. And uh, if you push one of these, it will queue a blog to that blog, which makes it a lot faster than switching between blogs. So I'm just gonna reblog it. And then if you go to your blog. should be right there and are blocked so um a few of my favorite xkit extensions i'll show you right here go to get extensions and it'll come up your extension gallery and my two favorite ones are um auto tagger and um blog tracker right here and right here I'll show you how to use them. Um, the track blogs one, since Tumblr updated the Tumblr, uh, their like Tumblr view a few months ago, um, it hasn't. This XKit extension, I don't think, has been updated to it. Or if it has, it's not that good. But right here, if you can't see it, it says "Add another person." Where it's like turning a lighter blue, and just click that. And then if you just don't have to put in www.tumblr.com all you have to do is put in the name so we'll put in like staff for the tumblr staff and then track url and then it will come up right there and all you have to do is click it and then the blog will come up super fast and super easy instead of like um, typing it in so there's that and then 
it'll come up if you didn't see it a notification came up right there that you added it to your um, blog tracker and then uh, you will go to auto tagger and one cool thing about this is that it completely tags what you want before, and you don't have to type it it'll just automatically do it hence auto tagger so I usually just put like follow me and posts Ira blog and it will just come up at every single post your blog every single one automatically and then you can also put them through here and just put like it will come up on text posts and stuff like that here I'll show you then like that um, and then down here, you can, when we're blogging, tag the URL of the person I'm reblogging from. Pretty self-explanatory. Replace hyphens and username with spaces. I don't really understand the need for that one. And then you can tag the date. So, up here you can keep keep original tags when I'm reblogging a post, which is just when you reblog a picture or any post someone else made, it will keep the tags that they tagged. So it's sort of like a shortcut. So just find a picture you like scroll 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 and then just hover over it and then um, when you reblog it the tags should be there so there you go that's about it so I hope that makes blogging a lot more easier for you and I hope this video helped a lot so there you go